Hey everybody, long time no see. It's been pretty crazy lately, so let's kick back and relax with a nice game. Give me the chicken. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces, bright and early. The Hungry Pumpkin meme is ages old. It was used in parodies and YouTube poops a lot. The Hungry Pumpkin game is actually a part of a series of educational children's game by a company called Pumpkin English. I found their website and nowadays they develop learning apps for small children. Our vision is to make English learning easier and more fun for children while maintaining our very high educational standards. Okay, well, your company's name is Pumpkin without the extra P, so how am I supposed to take you seriously? Back in 2008, they put out a Flash game online with notorious Pumpkin-branded learning games. The Pumpkin crew is actually on Facebook and Twitter. On Facebook, they're completely aware of the old Pumpkin game's popularity. On Twitter, it says that they're changing their name, and both of these accounts are currently inactive, suggesting that Pumpkin is no more. The old 2008 Pumpkin Flash game is known for being pretty awful, so the logical next step is for me to play it. There's no turning back now, chumps. And here we are. Welcome to the vibrant, lively world of Pumpkin World. The Color Game. Great title. White. Purple, white, red, black, purple, white, yellow. Well, they weren't lying. There's definitely colors in this white, game. Black. I think I might have hit the bottom of the barrel too quickly. So, no Gray, music, no black, anything, just red, this. What purple, more is there to say? Brown, I'm clicking white, colored pumpkins. Yellow, well, I've sat through some real garbage on this show. Pink, I mean, this is only the third episode. Red. Okay, so now things are getting a bit more interesting. This... Pumpkin woman is putting clothes on the hanger, and this crow tells you which article of clothing to click off the hanger. Dress. Oh! Gloves. As you might have noticed, the most entertainingly bad thing about these games are the voices. Shorts. That's literally the sound of someone going in a microphone. You could even hear like the air going to the microphone, making a clip like. <laughs> They're not even trying. Yeah, I'm sorry, what is this supposed to be teaching young kids? I don't get it. When your mother dries clothes, make sure to detach them and throw them into the sunset. Okay, for this next game, we gotta guide this blind rabbit to whatever vegetable he wants to eat. Good morning, children. What a beautiful day. What vegetables are there to eat? Oh, kill me. Are there any potatoes? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yes, there are. There are some... potatoes. Now that's the sound of a voice actor not getting paid enough. Oh my god, he just ate two of those things whole! Wait a minute, if he's blind, then how did he know that there was two potatoes there for him to eat? Is it that hard to add some actual sound effects? Or even just some music in the background. These games are devoid of sound design, and it gives you this empty, awkward vibe. Are there any green beans? Why does it sound weird when he says that? And what does pumpkins, clothes, and vegetables have to do with English education? Next up, we got Barnyard Disco. Whoa, looks like this is a pretty mean crew we got here. Oh, I can tell this guy means business. Oh, someone please tell me this is some sort of fever dream. I want drugs, right? Goats? Ooh, get him, goat, kill him! Ooh! Man, these guys got moves. I look like I've been balling, cause I'm really balling. I wanna buy the jazz, I'm not really sorry. They ask me if I'm lying, I say really, really. I'm really a chicken. I love this guy's DJing skills. The way he's moving the fader up and down would actually make the music do this. And he's constantly scratching the record, so this is how this guy DJs. 
Whoa, look out. This cow is on fire. Actually, I'm kind of worried cows aren't supposed to move like that. This one's the fruit game. Again, when do we get to the English? Do you like yeah. strawberries? Uh, y yeah? Yes, I do. I do like. Oh, I think I'm supposed to pick it? Strawberries. Oh, was I supposed do to catch that? Like watermelons. I mean, what more is there to explain? Tell them you like certain fruits, catch them, laugh at the voice acting, contemplate whether you're wasting your life, and then cry. Do you like pineapples? What if I tell them no? No, I do not. I don't like pineapples. <laughs> he just smacks the fruit like, hell no, dog. Do you like cherries? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, but cherries are not purple. Again, teaching kids the wrong things. Um... It's not that hard. So this game is in on over under. Oh no, what is happening right now? The hat now? is on the chair. I have no words for this catastrophe that I am witnessing. So the seductive, oddly proportioned crocodile tells you where to put stuff. Yeah, that's it. Put the book behind the chair. Put the book behind the chair. What? That's not behind the chair, that's beside it. Put the book bag in front of the chair. Now you're teaching kids to make their rooms messy. You sick pumpkin world, you sick, you sick pumpkin world, you sick. <sighs> now we're pressing numbers to play keys on a piano. The keys you play are completely random and sometimes don't even fit together or make chords. I'm not sure if you know how to music, but that's not how you music. Let a real master show you how it's done. So, this last game, this is the one that gave this game its popularity. Hungry Pumpkin. Here we go. Oh man, here it comes. I'm very hungry. Give me the hot dog. Wow, demanding much? Who just walks into a restaurant and says they're hungry and then demands food? <laughs> Give me the jam. <laughs> he just ate that whole jar, glass and everything. Give me the pepper. Alright, let's give him the wrong thing. No! I don't want that! Damn, this guy's not joking around! Got another teaching kids good manners, too. No! I don't want that! Give me the water. Give me the jam. Give me the pepper. Why can't you just watch porn like any normal teenager? Give me the pizza. That was terrible. I'm never coming back here. Uh, uh, uh sir, sir, you can't leave. You gotta pay. You gotta pay. Uh. You just stole them out of my restaurant after I just fed you all the food left in my restaurant. I mean... You just ate a glass of water whole. I mean, you just put that thing in there and the glass shards didn't destroy your insides or anything. I mean, what am I doing with my life? French jam. Hot French jam. <laughs> Looks like pumpkin world isn't all it's made out to be. And you know what? This is supposed to be an English education thing for kids. And did we learn the thing that related to English? No. All we did was learn bad manners. Now that's how you make a bad game. No.
I'm very hungry. No. 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 If you enjoyed this episode of Reese Reviews, check out the other episodes right in the links right here. Subscribe and thanks for watching.